All right, girl, welcome back to my channel. This is your two minute book report. And um, today I'm not drinking wine. I'm actually, I have this uh, Perrier, Perrier, per whatever. Um, anyway, sparkling water. Does anybody, do you drink that? Or is it, is, are you gonna be like, what are you doing? Um, I just like it because I put it in like my juices or if my stomach hurts. I just always have sparkling water in the house. Okay. Just saying. All right, so two minute book report today is about Tiffany Haddish, who she calls herself the last black unicorn. Um, I feel like I'm also one, <laughs> especially being 35. Actually, wow, we're in the month of June now. My birthday is actually in a couple of weeks. <clears throat> Maybe 36, not married, and no kids. Definitely a, a unicorn. Like, just, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> How many people you know, 36, no kids, not married? Probably a lot, but in my little world, uh, not a lot. So that's why I think I'm a unicorn, okay? But anyway, it's such a good read because I love stories of people that we know, celebrities and stuff, who went through hell, but then they triumph. And they tell you the story to, and they hope, they hope, there we go. They tell you the story in hopes to encourage you and to lift you up and to let you know that if you can relate to the story, you can and will make it. You know, you just got to dust yourself off. It's about mindset, perseverance and sticking to it and getting to where you want. So Tiffany has been through a lot. Um, horrible childhood. She would say it. She says it. Um, didn't have a good relationship with her dad. Literally, I think she said she saw him twice. Um, molested, just horrible relationships. And so I always, um, when I know somebody is going through something and cause I've read so many books now, and if I know that they have a story like theirs, like this book, this author that I read has a story like yours, I will suggest the book because it does help when you see somebody who went through what you may be going through in this time in your life. Um, it helps and it helps to push you forward and to keep you encouraged and to lift you up. And so if you are going through something, had a bad child, just want to relate to somebody who's been through some trash um, and she's triumphed. Tiffany Haddish book. I read this book in two weeks. It is such an easy read. I suggest this book. If you are a reader and you just love books, because most of the books that I read are, um, are auto. Now I'm not going to be able to say this word, Lord. <laughs> autobiographical autobiographies there we go i think okay um so most of the books that i read are real stories and also like self-help books so again i encourage you to read this and as i always do gonna read you a little excerpt out of the book um and this chapter is called the ex-husband never knew tiffany haddish was married did not know well she's not now but she was married so anyway and i'll just read you just this page because obviously I don't want to read you the book and tell you the book so I'm not going to tell you what happened in this chapter but the way that she started the chapter is something that I believe maybe somebody watching this really needs to hear it and they'll go pick up the book and be encouraged and uplifted okay so anyway this chapter is called the ex-husband she says just to warn you straight up this story is bad and not bad in a funny way like the Roscoe story or the Titus story like this is just flat out bad. This story is probably going to frustrate you. It may even get you angry when she was right. Cause I was, I said, Tiffany, why would you stay in a relationship like this? Okay. And she almost, uh, and she said, I almost did not put this in the book. I mean, there isn't much here that's funny to be honest, but I ended up putting it in because of three reasons. It's the hard truth about my life. And I will always tell the truth, even when it's not funny. Number two. I hope some young girls can learn from my mistakes and avoid what I went through. And number three, I believe everything happens for a reason and as bad as this was, I believe it's made me better and helped me get where I am. I'm telling you, if you're going through it, especially with men, because Roscoe and Titus that she mentioned, that was some BS that she went through. Well, she put Roscoe through some BS, but it's such a good book. So anyway, that I think we went over our two minute time. So my bad my two minute book report okay if you need encouragement if you need a woman to relate to you always know you can read my blog okay singleness is not a punishment self-awareness is our superpower you can read the blog justmirigan.com